For those channels that are lucky enough to gain 100,000 subscribers, they typically upload somewhere around 450 videos to make that happen. Today, however, we examine a channel that in just weeks and with only 12 videos has driven more than 43 million video views and in the process, they've gained 1.7 million subscribers. Absolutely insane. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson! Brian G here and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Coaching student Heidi Looney drove more than 150,000 views to a recent video and Linda had this to say. Thank you, Brian. All kinds of awesome things are happening. Now it's your turn. Access my free 40 minute YouTube masterclass and discover what makes my group coaching program unlike any other program available. You'll find the link in the description to the free masterclass. Growing a successful channel here on YouTube is incredibly challenging. Just the act of publishing one video to YouTube takes so much time and energy. You've got to come up with a video idea, you've got to film, edit, and then you've got to upload. And on top of that, you have to not only just create a thumbnail, but create a thumbnail that viewers click on. It can be completely overwhelming, not to mention that after all that time and energy, you go on, you upload the video, and you don't get any views. It can be so very frustrating. So how can you move forward? How can you move forward, break the cycle, and actually start uploading videos that absolutely help your channel grow, that absolutely get more views, gaining you more subscribers, and you can start building momentum. Well, one of the things that's worked really well for me is to not just watch other successful channels, but to study those channels, to break down why they're growing, what are they doing to make that happen, and how can I apply that to myself? And that's what we're gonna do today. So listen, if you wanna grow, if you're ready to put in the time, please watch this video in its entirety. What I've got is brand new information that I haven't heard anybody share about and it can absolutely help you to grow the channel. So let's jump in, there's a lot to cover. Now this really is a strange channel case study and the channel in question is called Co Cochina. De Mia Rancho to Cochina. <laughs> Okay, clearly I butchered that. In English, the channel is called From My Ranch to Your Kitchen. And the channel makes such an interesting case study because it really breaks the mold of what typically does so well on YouTube. For example, the channel niche isn't vlogging, it isn't gaming, it's not tech or lifestyle. And the YouTuber behind the channel, and to be honest, I'm not really sure you'd call this individual a YouTuber. She's not young and she's not physically attractive like so many of the big YouTubers here on the platform. And the channel doesn't have all the fancy gear, lighting, camera work, or fancy editing. And yet in days, the channel gained well over 100,000 subscribers. And then literally a number of weeks later, crossed over 1 million subscribers. Absolutely insane. So exactly how is this happening? What is the YouTuber doing in order to grow so very quickly? The first thing we have to talk about is the audience. And if you're a subscriber, this is something you've heard me talk so very much about in 2019. That is that you have to have a YouTube target audience. But the fact of the matter is that's where it just begins. You see, having a target audience isn't enough. Now, if you haven't watched my videos, really quickly, a target audience is a group of viewers on YouTube that are watching videos on a particular topic. And in this case, it's cooking. In fact, we could go deeper and you could say that this YouTube target audience is viewers that are interested in authentic Mexican cuisine. And this part is really important, so keep it in mind. You see, at the end of the day, is identifying a target audience or a topic. It could be gaming or cooking. It could be how to make arts and crafts. That's really the easy part. There's something that a lot of YouTubers are missing, and quite frankly, 
It's the reason they're struggling to get the views, to get the views to turn into subscribers and then to successfully grow their YouTube channel. You see the thing that this channel is doing so incredibly well. This is the thing that every channel has to do well, is they're cultivating what I like to call audience believability. You see, viewers have to believe that the video that they're watching can deliver on their wants and needs. And by the way, every single viewer to your channel that clicks on your video and begins to watch, they ask themselves this one simple question. Can this YouTuber deliver what I want on this particular topic? And if they don't believe you can, they're gonna click off the video, which is gonna crush your watch time, which is gonna mean YouTube is not gonna promote your video, and you're gonna struggle to gain that success that you're after. Viewers have to believe that you can deliver, and you literally have about 10 to 15 seconds to confirm to the viewer that you can deliver on their wants and their needs. Think about it like this, on a subconscious level, viewers are asking themselves questions like this. Does this person look the part? And if we look at this channel here, when it comes to authentic Mexican cuisine, holy smokes, yes, this YouTuber looks the part and that really helps on the audience believability that this woman can deliver when it comes to how to cook delicious Mexican cuisine. Furthermore, the viewers asking questions like, does this person have experience with the given topic? And just looking at the videos, it's a resounding yes, absolutely. And furthermore, the big question that they're gonna be asking themselves, even on a subconscious level, is do I believe this video will give me what I want? The answer to these questions has to always be yes, or the viewer in question will click off, and sadly, the YouTuber will struggle and fail. And this is why YouTube is so incredibly challenging. It's not just the tech, and that includes the fancy editing and the 4K videos and the audio and more. It's connecting with the viewers that find your video. And sadly, this is what happens in just the first few seconds of your video. You see, the viewer is gonna be continuing to ask themselves, will this video continue to drive value for me? If I continue to invest my time, will I get a payoff in more value from the video. And as the viewers watch longer and longer, it gets harder and harder to keep them watching. And this is again where so many fail. When the viewer watching your video says, yes, I believe that the YouTuber can help me and can deliver the value that I want, then you'll have audience believability. That is your audience will believe in you and they'll subscribe and they'll watch more videos and you'll compound your watch time and everything you're after will start to grow. And I wanna mention the tech in your videos too because the fact of the matter is if your audio is really bad or if your lighting is all messed up, well that's gonna create a huge roadblock for the viewers that's gonna annoy them and a percentage are gonna click off and sadly, that's where you lose once again. So the technical aspects of your video are important, but, and this is a really big but, and here's why. Because it really is dependent on the target audience that you select. In this example, when we look at this woman who's in her very authentic Mexican kitchen cooking, the viewing audience isn't looking for 4K, and they're not looking for amazing editing. What they want is information that they believe can help them cook tasty, authentic Mexican food. And that's what she's got in spades and she wins. Now let's talk about the average view duration of your videos. Again, if you're a subscriber, you've heard me talk just how important this metric is. And the fact of the matter is if you're always thinking, I really gotta focus on the next 20 seconds of this video. Does the next 20 seconds really share new information? Or have I repeated myself? If you repeat yourself, you're gonna be more likely to lose viewers, which is gonna crush your audience retention, also known as average view duration, and you're gonna struggle. So as you move forward and you craft your videos, every 20 seconds, 
you want to look at the video you're editing and you want to think to yourself, I don't want to repeat. And if I do repeat myself, I'm going to cut that out. And you want to always strive to be sharing something new. And you want to edit your videos to add interest. You can do that by incorporating B-roll, pictures, images, sound effects. You can add neat transitions to your video. By spending a little bit more time editing, you can dramatically increase your average view duration. And it really begins in the planning stages for your video. Plan not to repeat yourself. Plan to give viewers something they haven't watched or seen before. So when it comes to our case study, this particular channel has scored so high on audience believability. The audience believes, the YouTuber can deliver, and they grow, they get the views, amazing. Step number two is you gotta make it easy for your target audience. There's lots of ways that you can make it easy for viewers to find, connect, click on your videos and more. And at the same time, there are a lot of things you may be doing that makes it hard for viewers subscribers to want to click on your videos. There are a lot of things you may be doing that makes it hard for viewers to want to come back. And that's the thing you don't want to do. Obviously, it's our job as YouTube creators, as YouTubers, to make it really simple and easy for the audience to want to come back and watch our next video. Okay, let's talk about keywords. Yeah, keywords. It's a thing I just spoke about in my last video and it's so incredibly important. Now check this out, I am on the channel homepage now and I'm gonna click to videos and then notice right here, I'm gonna sort by most popular. And now what you'll notice is every single video really includes keyword phrases that her target audience, remember people that are interested in Mexican cuisine are gonna be searching for huevos, mole, steak, grilled quesadillas, stuffed peppers, chili rellenos, and more. These are the keyword phrases that her audience is searching for. And if you're thinking, you know, I wanna get into suggested videos. You know, Brian, I, I've really heard that if I'm targeting search, I'm gonna really limit my reach. Well, think about this. All of these videos have driven millions and millions of views in just a few months. There's no way possible that this channel could have driven this many views by only ranking in YouTube search. When you incorporate keyword phrases, you're making it easy for the algorithm to connect you with the viewers that you're targeting. Add those keyword phrases. Now let's talk about personal branding. This channel does a great job Every single thumbnail, every single video, she's wearing the same really authentic Mexican outfit and there, it's not based on a logo, it's logo. <laughs> and it's not based on a color scheme. It's based on simply the YouTuber. Your brand is you. It's how you tell your stories. It's how you edit your videos. It's how you appear in your videos or your voiceover. These are the things that really create your personal brand. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to craft a personal brand. Put you and your style and your personality into your videos and you'll do real well. By crafting your own personal brand, you're gonna make it easy for the audience to recognize you. And you can also make it really easy for the audience to find you by not segmenting your audience. What that means is you wanna focus on one particular topic. And by doing so, it's gonna be really easy for those people that subscribe to wanna click on and watch your next video. After all, you're delivering the very thing that they subscribed for. At the end of the day, you don't have to be number one in your niche to really crush it. Rather, just think about being an important resource for those people that are really passionate about the kind of content that you cover and that will help you go really far. And becoming that important resource is really actually pretty easy especially if you strive to create something new and different. Here's what's up. When you create something different, you completely separate yourself from all the other channels that are crafting similar content. When I think of gaming, I think of Dr. Disrespect. Wow, what a persona, what a goofball. 
he has created something so unique, so very different, and that separates him from all the other channels in his niche. You know, oftentimes it can take a lot of time and thought to create something unique and fresh, but if you follow these simple steps, you'll find it's actually pretty easy. First, you wanna tell yourself to come up with something new and different. That's it. Just tell yourself, hey, self, come up with a new idea. Leverage something that other people are not doing in my particular niche. Early, when you first think about this, you're not gonna have any idea. And you know what? That's okay. But the thing you don't wanna tell yourself is, that seems hard, I don't think I can do that, because when you say that, you're telling your brain, forget about it. We're not gonna do that. So just tell yourself to create something new and different, and in time, you will evolve to do just that. One of the ways you can jumpstart that is to study other channels in other niches that are doing things really differently. Then you can borrow or steal some of the things they're doing, and you can apply them to your niche to really stand out in your niche. I gotta tell you, this stuff isn't rocket science. It's just really a matter of applying yourself and always striving to continue to upload videos. You know what, at the end of the day, so many YouTubers struggle because they don't upload enough. Simple as that. And lastly, always be willing to try something new. It might not work, but obviously that's the way to craft and create new and better and different results. Now here's the thing, you see, one of the things I've mentioned is just how important it is to identify your YouTube target audience. And in this video, that is the video on the screen right now that will walk you through the process of doing just that. So click on that video and watch it now. It will help you to drive more views. Do that and I'll see you on the next video. You dig?